on on YouTube, I'm the Tough Man, and welcome back to some more Two Point Hospital. Now on YouTube, I'm the Tough Man, and welcome back to some more Two Point Hospital. It's part 10 today, 10 parts into this already. And, guys, look at this. 45,000 in debt. We're doing really well. <laughs> in fact, our profit and loss sheet, even with the loan uh, taking 4,615 a month, that profit and loss is not looking fantastic, to be to be honest. Hopefully, there just doesn't seem to be as many people in here as what there usually is. They're probably all waiting around on these two things over here. But I cannot... I can't do anything. <laughs> I literally cannot do anything. Right, we're going to go ahead this time, and we can put priority on this, and I can't remember how I do it. There we go. High priority. Get people in there. Renew. Forget the ward. Get over here. Get somebody in here right now. These two are just like, I'm not really bothered. They literally just stood there like, nah, mate. I've got, I'm, I can't be bothered doing stuff like that. Right. Well, you can be bothered, because I'm telling you, you can't. Let's put him in there so that he can start doing all the rest of that stuff. And hopefully, we can uh, get some decent amount of money from this. This is what we're doing it for. Money, money, money. Look at all this. There's nobody. It's like a wasteland over here. There's just nobody getting seen to. I've got a problem with one of our staff. One of the janitors, I think it was Archibald Gruff, uh, is really, really annoyed at the moment. So let's put his money up. Uh, he's really unhappy. He says that he's... What was it? What was his issue? Hospital's not attractive. We'll clean the bloody thing then. That's your job. Hygiene. Um, he needs a toilet. 89%. Okay, so we're just going to tell him... Go on, Archibald. Take a break, son. Go and go to the toilet. It's over here, look. Go to the toilet and take a break, fella. Where's he going? Top complaints. Desperate for the toilet. Wants training and ugly environment. It's only because... Is he actually going to the toilet? Nice. Okay. Hopefully that'll sort him out. And uh, he'll start being a little bit better. Why have we lost this guy again? Oh, no. Where we are? We haven't. Wow. We're minus 97,000. We are so in debt. This is absolutely crazy. And I don't know what happens. It keeps happening with this. We've, we double staffed up here. Right. That's fine. We'll take one off there. And then the other person will have to go down here. Well, this level might have actually beaten us, guys. We are down to uh, minus 90,000, which actually isn't too bad, to be fair. But it keeps popping back up to over a £100,000 of loss. Uh, we'll see what at the end of this month brings. We've just unlocked the DNA lab through this, um, through the research place. We... Uh, that researcher has nothing to do now. I can't afford to give him another uh, another project, which is really annoying. And we keep having to send these people home that are probably going to give us quite a lot of money if we can actually... Um, oh, God, here we go. If we can actually cure these guys, we could get a lot of money. But as you can see, the revenue, 33000 Expenses, 32000 The biggest thing is probably the loan. And we cannot get any money to, uh, to fix this. And that, my friends... Is where the issue is and this pe this person who works in here keeps going missing and it's really annoying it's like why you you only should allow one in there that's on high priority you should be in there at all times i think we're waiting on this plaster caster so where is the the person who's meant to be working in it and, and again just disappeared i don't i think it's got something to do with this we've not got enough in the ways of, um, of of nurses at the moment, that person. But even so, what's happening here? I think they might be going into... Right, you. In there, son. Get them sorted now. <laughs> they've, got, they've got money to give us. Oh, we've got the awards. Get, probably Rising Star and nothing else. Oh, we didn't get that this time. Employer of the Year and Best Research Hospital because we've done one single research project. Oh, look at all these. We're losing out on money here but because we just simply can't afford to put the treatment down to be able to treat these guys. That's the, the main issue we've got. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've just literally had about six people die on me all at once. And I don't know why. I think they may have got, like, earthquaked. Um, shall we say yeah, I've just got nobody in this hospital nobody seems to be here 
Oh, this is just turning out to be an absolute nightmare. What normal people would do in this sort of situation is probably quit um, and then go back and re tr uh, try to redo what they've done. Not me. Uh, I've gone and put a 20% levy on all of the prices that we've currently got. Yes, the price reputation will go down, but hopefully we'll get enough money just until this loan uh, gets paid off. It's very nearly there, actually, so hopefully... Just have to keep sending people home. This is crazy. Hopefully we'll get to a situation where we're getting quite a lot of money coming in. I can't see it happening. Our reputation is, is in the pits at the moment. And what on earth our janitors are doing, I have no idea. We've got two. And look at the state of this place up here. We'll just sweep it under the rug and pretend it doesn't exist for the moment. We've got two nurses just stood outside this fracture clinic not doing anything. Like, get in there and get them sorted. I don't understand how that is so difficult for you. Look. Beautiful. Done. Stay there. Fix people. Make us money. Don't walk around outside this bloody... Outside here. Why are you down here? Get over there. There must be something to do with uh, what we've got of our jobs. On the nurses here. So, I've got four people doing wards. That is, that is good. <laughs> right, we've got this person in the ward, but I, I think we should also allow it to do uh, general diagnosis and cardio so that um, we can do that. And hopefully uh, that will help this, this part move a little bit more smoothly. I think that's what our issue, our main issue is. Oh, we've got a resignation warning here. Okay. Cure denim jeans. I see it now. I see it. Uh, they look like they're the Smurfs. We can't do it anyway because we haven't got the ability to. However, uh, Winston, where is he? Winston? <coughs> Excuse me. Winston, let's get your wage up and hopefully that'll sort you out. So what's your other happiness, unhappiness problem? I don't know. Is there a bit? It's slowly getting happier. 20% that'll do. Brilliant. That's worked. Um, oh God, here we go. <laughs> This is not great. That that VIP is going to come in here, see the floor and be like, mate, what is this? Is it even a hospital? Look, what are you doing? Get in there and stay in there. Is it that hard? You're not allowed to do anything else but stay in there. Now. Um, oh, God. The prices. We're going to have to drop the prices back down to normal, but look at the state that we're in. <laughs> we're really in a bad position. The thing is that there is a there is another option of course and that is to fire some of the doctors that we've got, the GPs, the, the big wigs, because we literally only need one GP's room at the moment. All the rest are sort of being defunct. And we've got those doctors, oh god here we go. If our budget reaches 300, minus 300,000 the, the hospital will be shut down. I think we, we, we're gradually working our way towards that, to be quite honest. If we take a look at our loan, though, there's 22,000 left on that loan. We'll get that paid off, and hopefully we'll start to claw some of the money back. Um, because that's it's the extra 4,000 that keeps ticking over and then kicking us in the in the balls when we're not looking. So, But, yeah, it looks as if the GPs... Uh, we're gonna, we might have to cull some of the GPs and sort of retrain uh, the guys back um, eventually as well but what i'm gonna do i will wait until that uh until the loan has been repaired and then we can review it then and see whether or not we need to do anything else this is doing my head in i don't understand why they're not doing it like there's four people that's on ward duty why do they keep disappearing I literally don't understand. I just don't understand. Here we go. The loan is nearly done. We've got two months left on this loan. And then that is that. Done and dusted. And hopefully we can start to claw some of the money back that we've got here. You can see the revenues and expenses there. We're actually making more um, than we're losing this month. Which is a massively strange to be fair but wait until it ticks over to the next month and you'll see that we're actually uh, we actually do lose money i haven't got rid of anybody yet um i haven't done anything like that as of yet i'm waiting i i, I refuse to restart a level i refuse i will drag myself out 
of that. Now, what we can do, guys, is go ahead and uh, close this room. I think what we're going to do is go to the staff, go to the doctors. Where's our researcher? This is the guy. No, it isn't. This is the guy. Noddy Deluxe. We're going to have to fire this guy. Um, we've got no work for him at the moment. I can't afford to uh, to do anything. And uh, we are running very, very low on money. <laughs> very, very low. However, look at this. We've got one month left on this loan. And hopefully... Oh, God. The janitor's at it again. He's getting really aggy about it. Janitor, what's the matter with your son? Right, he wants more Wongridge. We can do that for him. And just take a break, son. Just take a break. Go get yourself a break. Get that happiness rating back up. It doesn't seem to want to. Uh, oh, no. It's slowly going back up. I say slowly because it's very, very slow. Look at this. I don't understand. I've got four staff members who can do And I've only got one set to this one. That means they must be here. Ah. <laughs> He's off for a break anyway. So hopefully that will be able to, uh, to sort that out for us. Well, no, nope, we can't do that because we haven't got the uh, the money to build it as of yet. DNA lab. I think we might be. Oh my god, two hundred thirteen thousand in debt. Right, there's no loan now. That that's gone. We could take one, but there's no point. <laughs> there's literally no point. Staff resignation warning. He's fine. He's going to stay now. Uh, send the patient home because I mean, let's face it. We haven't got the money to be able to do this. And hopefully we can start clawing the uh, the revenue back. Please. It's a really good start now. We're getting into the 200,000s though. So I think it's best if we go into the staff here. The doctors. And uh, some of the GPs that we've got. So um, we're going to get rid of a couple of the GPs. We'll have to sort of gain this back later on down the line. But we'll be okay. Get rid of a few of them. Uh, assistant, yep, yeah, one. We've got only the two doctors left. So if we go, right, close that room. Close that room. And we've got the two GP's offices left. Not now. Send the patient home. Send the patient home. And we have already seen that we're making some money. The, oh, it's gone back down to minus 211,000. I think now that we've sort of culled... Um, the, the, the doctors here we should be somewhat okay this is going to be a horrendous awards a ceremony with absolutely no awards coming my way, that's great um, cure 10 patients yes, we'll, we'll try to get that and try to get more money back where possible we've got uh, the head janitor, Osman Peregrine is getting aggy as well fantastic so where are you? Osman Peregrine Let's go ahead, put his wage up, tell him to go on a break, and hopefully that'll sort him out. And of course, another disaster comes along, all at the same time, as per usual. It's just what happens, guys. This level is absolutely crazy. I think what the, the main problem that we've had with this level, we didn't put down any sort of treatment rooms, um, mainly because we haven't actually researched them all. And I'm going to keep a very good look on this money um, for the next... Oh, he's decided to stay. What a lad. Uh, I'm going to take a very good look on this, but I do not want to fail this level. That, that, that is clear. I do not want to fail this level. So, um, what I'm going to try to do is see if I'm making money. If I'm not making any money, then we're going to have serious problems. Because, obviously, I'm going to end up bankrupt. And then I will have to, have, uh, I will have to fail this level. However, what we could also do is go into another hospital with uh, another research place and research the other treatment for so if we're making money here that is and we can eventually get the money back to be able to get more treatment rooms uh, that's the only other way i can think of trying to pull us back out of what we're currently in so i mean look at that the dna costs fifty thousand and odd to build where we don't have fifty thousand as long as we're making money we can turn this around okay we we aren't making money this hospital is not making money whatsoever. Even after paying off the loan, it's just not making any money uh, whatsoever. So, we're, we've, we've, we've got a problem. <laughs> we've got a problem. And I've tried not to do it, guys. But it seems as if we're going to have to go to the back to the drawing board with this level. And, um, 
And yeah, I think that's the only way of doing it. To be honest, I think it is. We, we are slowly sort of fixing the hospital though, by the looks of things. Everything seems to be getting, it look, it's starting to look better. But we're just, we're not curing people. And that's one of the biggest issues we've got. We're not, we're not curing people of illnesses because that's what gives us the most money. The diagnosis, you, you know, they come in and out of the diagnosis rooms and that gives us a little bit. But we need to start curing people again. And we're just not getting that. We're not getting that break, I'm afraid. All the uh, emergencies that are coming through, none of them are for the for the pharmacy, and none of them are for the uh, for the ward. Or this thing is just broken. I have no idea what is going on with this at all. I literally do not know why people just do not want to staff this room. But uh, it seems as if we are barreling towards. Uh, bankruptcy with this particular level and uh, there's nothing much that I can do about it guys There's nothing much I can do about it. What I am going to do is I'm going to pause it there I refuse to admit defeat just yet though I refuse to admit defeat just yet. We are going to go back to one of our previous hospitals Which uh, we might as well go back to Flemington actually. We, we started to fix that one back up and that wasn't going too badly, to be honest. It, we, we was making a lot of money here. And this is where we can just go ahead, uh, plop down uh, some of the research, for instance. Like we can do the uh, DNA lab. I want that one done. I want the shock clinic done. So we can use our money here to actually get some of this, uh, some of this done up. So we can get the DNA lab. We can get all those different bits and bobs. And we can start working on maybe fixing this hospital. But I don't think it needs fixing. I think we're doing pretty well here. I think we are doing pretty well. We've just got to up our GP's speeds, I think. And uh, what better way of doing that, guys? We're coming over here and uh, saying, where's our... It's motivation, isn't it? Motivation increases speed and efficiency. So if we do that, and uh, we get somebody in to do this, obviously. And we take our GP's, which... Oh my goodness, which ones are our GP's? That's a good question. I don't think they're even on here. And I think the main reason that for that is because they're fully trained. Yeah. They are fully trained. Is there any one of them that has got a spare slot for me to do this with? Nope. Not. Oh, no. Hang on a minute. Emma Dingle? Nope. She's not quite there yet. Maureen Dick's not there. He's full. And yeah, they've just they're just not quite there yet for for that sort of um, for that sort of training, but that's not that's not too bad, guys. I'm not too too worried about that, to be honest. I am not too worried. We've got the ability to open up more GPs offices if we need to. Those are there, uh, but I think we're gonna go okay with what we've got. I think we are gonna go okay with what we've got here. So we're making an absolute ton of money. Look at this, a profit of 36,000 uh, per month that's going through there at this minute in time. So we are doing very, very well. We're just not moving these people quick enough, as you can see. Appointment for chromotherapy. Where is chromotherapy, actually? Is that it? No, that's the deluxe, a look, looks, a looks, a looks. Can we improve this? No, nope, that's maximum. Can we improve this? That's maximum. That's maximum. The Deluxe Alux is a three, so that's definitely maximum. What about over here? The Heart Racer, no. Extract Pan, we can't improve that either. The Colorizer. Um, not that, but there it is. Plaster Caster, all these are, are fully done up, so we, don't, we really can't do anything here. Um, oh, Staff Promotion. Maureen Dick. That's very nice. Right. Promote her then. Uh, remember Maureen Dick. She's up here. She's one of the ones that uh, is going to get motivation. Um, that's going to be her next one, I believe. She's got one of the GPs. We could give her another one of the GPs. Uh, but I think motivation is probably a good one to go with for these guys. Try to move these people quicker than what we currently are. Uh, look at that. 113,000 revenue. We got 52,000 profit last month. That was fantastic. What we are going to do, though, is hire... We've got five janitors at the moment, but this is quite a big hospital, so... Um, a bit of everything there, isn't there? Stamina training. Energy drains at a reduced rate. Yeah, we get you in over here. Uh, 
We've got a weight of 10 people in cardio, which is very strange. So what we'll do is uh, actually we'll copy that one. So if we copy that, put that down there and then accept that. Then we'll just, I don't think we need to hire another doctor to be honest. We've got plenty kicking around. Oh, it's a nurse, not a doctor. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll probably do that then. Uh, treatment, diagnostics. We just want the diagnostics, to be fair. And this one is ready to get uh, to get trained again. What about these guys? Is anybody close to being put up? No, he's unhappy, so we'll put his wage up. We don't want him to be unhappy. What about you? You're very nearly there. Look at this consultant. Absolutely fantastic. Very nearly there. Um, and yeah, once we've got that person done up as well, we'll send both of the uh, both of the guys over to get a course in motivation. Try to move these people a lot quicker. Right, Emma Dingle is ready for motivation as well now. So that's Emma Dingle, Maureen Dick. Um, yep, yeah, these full. Maureen Dick, Emma Dingle, not that one, and I don't think that one's quite made it yet either. No, so. Two is more than enough, I should think, for motivation. So, where is it? There it is, motivation. We're going to get somebody in to do it. Maureen Dick and um, Emma Dingle. Emma Dingle and Maureen Dick. So, both of them start the training, get that done, and uh, they will start to move and do things a little bit quicker than their counterparts. It's quite nice. We'll wait for these guys to sort of do themselves up. This guy here, the senior consultant, this 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 is an absolute crazy. He doesn't know you need to go any quicker because he's got that 10%, uh, 20%, and then the 50% uh, on top of that. And he can teach as well. So he's got plus 50% teaching and learning speed there. Uh, so this guy is very, very good. George Iceman is our senior consultant most definitely and um, you know all these other people can get motivation onto them and uh, that's the main thing we want to try to keep these people moving through as quickly as physically possible because they're going to go off to the diagnosis rooms get sent back here and then get sent off again then getting sent back and this is what we try to uh, staff training is required can we do a research too That'd be very interesting. I'm not sure if we can. I did buy another person, um, but I think only one person at a time can... Oh, that, that was probably the best way of doing it. Um, I didn't realise that you had to actually physically put these guys in. So, And uh, a senior consultant. I, which, do you really need a senior consultant? When you're, that, when you're that good, I mean, you cost so much, but really, in reality, all you need is that. Allows the doctor to research. I mean, there's no extra speed or anything there for that one so might be worth changing that out for somebody else but we've got so much money anyway we don't even need to worry 659 uh, 658,000 in the bank over here it's uh, it's crazy oh we cured six out of seven of the lightheadedness uh, thing so we did quite well with that one as well ah the motivation has finished so hopefully that'll be able to move some of these people through a little bit quicker now so that's them two done. Uh, we'll keep an eye on the rest of these because, oh, this one's very, very close to uh, to getting up to that final rank of senior consultant and getting that extra motivation. Uh, that would be very nice. Now, this guy isn't quite there either, but uh, that's good. We've got GP, GP2 and diagnostics. So that's pretty good. What's this award ceremony? What have we got going on over here? Oh, quite a lot. Rising Star, Employer of the Year, Player Patient's Choice, Best Research Hospital and Hospital of the Year, as well as Best Teaching Hospital. The only thing we didn't miss out, uh, missed out on, sorry, is no deaths and the most prestigious hospital. No deaths is pretty much impossible. It really is, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it so fast. Look, I'm, I've completely jam-packed all six of these GP's offices. We may need to open some more up and, uh, and train some more doctors up here, but uh, hopefully that motivation will help with them too, and then hopefully we can sort of fix all the rest of them to have some motivation on in the future. Okay, but what we're going to do... Ah, Fredwood Rang. Fredwood Rang. Where is he? 
Who is he? He is the one. Right, okay. He's one that we're going to give uh, motivation to. So, where is it? Have I gone past it? I bet I have. I always do this. I just scroll straight past it with never seeing it. There it is. Motivation. Uh, Fredwood. Mr. Mr. Wang. Where are you, son? Oh, Mr. Rang, should I say. There we go. We're going to get him in. And we're going to get him on the motivation as well. Get him, get him moving just a little bit quicker. Well, look at this, guys. This is the biggest and best training room that you will ever see. Uh, well, not necessarily that you'll ever see, because I'll probably do a better one at some point in the future. But all of these encyclopedias, don't forget, will uh, do a plus 2%. I thought it was 1%. Plus 2% to training speed. So, that should do training ridiculously, ridiculously, ridiculously quickly. And at least that's that's the uh, that's the aim, anyways. Uh, what we're going to do, I am going to get some nurses. So, I have a... Oh, these nurses aren't that fantastic, really, are they? So, what we're going to look at, guys, I think everybody... The majority of the nurses are either... You know what we're going to do? We're going to concentrate on whoever this person is right here. I don't think they... Anybody. Let's have a look. Nurses, what we've current got, where's where's our current nurses? Here we go. Uh, so we've got this person here. Pharmacy management, Bruce Brass, is currently working in the ward. But honestly, by the looks of it, treatment skill injection, uh, increase the happiness of patients when dealing with them. Um, I think what we, what we want to do is get somebody, one of these, I think, just becoming specifically... A person for the pharmacist. So, uh, Lester Fenton, Alex Dump. That's a nice one. We'll go with Alex Dump. And what we'll do is we will go ahead and grab ourselves pharmacy management. We will bring a person in to do this. And then Alex Dump. There it is. We'll train that person up to be our specific... Oh, look at this. Helixer 2 has been unlocked. What's that? Is that that thing? No, it's the jab master. No, that's that. I don't know. Anyways, uh, we're going to get this person in. Alex Dump, you're going to be sat down. And let's just see how quickly this does. Upgrade to the DNA lab. Uh, not now. Cure seven patients with night fever in psychiatry. We've got two of that, so we should be fine on that one. Uh, not now, and not now, and not now. We'll sort that out soon. So that should be pretty quick. Estimated duration, 20 days. Nice. That is pretty quick. I like that. What we can do, we can get rid of this room. Or we can keep it. Nah, I'm probably going to get rid of it, to be fair. We are going to sell it. Sell the room. Yes, please. We'll probably shift the market in around... Can we move this, actually? Let's uh, edit. Let's move that in here. Like this. Let's get the... Oh, let's pick the door up, move the door over here, we can't, let's move the plant over there, then the door in there, brilliant, and that marketing room is still pretty much the same, we've got some more uh, room now going through here, which is good, um, oh, wow, They've li he's literally just finished it, literally just finished it, so let's go into staff, let's go into jobs, and we'll go to treatment, and we'll have Alex Dump being the only person... Who can do pharmacy. We want him to be on that pharmacy like you would not believe. Now, Lester Fenton is also ready for training. And we need somebody who can lead these wards. So, ward management. Here we go. Wards, ward management. Get a person in to do it. And Lester Fenton, you're going to be the one. I'm going to train you up to be our ward person. Oh, apparently Alex Dump is already ready for training for level two. Now, when this is finished, we're going to get them into there and uh, do pharmacy management level two. And hopefully that will mean less deaths. Because, I mean, we're getting a lot of people that are... We're getting a lot of cures, which is great, but we're getting a lot of deaths as well. Look at the state of this. Why are you all wondering... Why are you all stood around when there's seats? Get, set, get your ass sat down. Get your ass sat down. That should be pretty easy to do. Oh, look at that. We're just short. Let's go into 
the radiators up here, and then that should do it. There we go. Brilliant. <laughs> Happiness done. Brilliant. Special report, cured 5 out of 7 in the night favour, lovely jubbly, and Lester Fenton's been trained already, my goodness. That was quick. <laughs> that was definitely, definitely quick. So pharmacy level 2, um, oh is it not here? Maybe it's treatment then, yeah treatment, here we go. Let's do treatment on, where are you, Mr Dump, or Miss Dump. There we go. We'll get you in there and uh, you doing treatment. And then we'll keep adding with the treatment. We'll get motivation in there as well to make her go a little bit quicker. And hopefully we can sort of, we can really fine tune this hospital because money is no object. So we can fine tune this hospital. And actually, look at this, we've done the DNA lab. Let's work on the shock clinic. Let's get that done. We can get a lot of research done in this hospital. So I think... Do you know what? Actually, really quickly before I disappear, let's make another research place, which is going to be absolutely insane. Right, well, I think that's big enough. <laughs> 288,000. That has literally just cost us, guys. That is crazy. Let's go ahead and sell this one, though. And hopefully it'll sort of move it over to this one. I I'm hoping. So, shock clinic, start the project. And, uh, and get those guys down there. This is insane. All of these, by the way, are plus 1% to the training. This is literally going to take no time whatsoever. <laughs> this is what I wanted out of this particular project that we've got down here. Seven patients with light headedness. Yes, get that, get that one going through. Now, with that in order, let's go and take a look at... Um, ah, where are you? Where are you, Alex Dump? Uh, making fair progress. Definitely making for fair progress. So, Lester Fenton needs some more training. We can do this. So, uh, Ward 2. Lester Fenton. We'll get the normal person doing this. And then Lester Fenton in there. Uh, this is the person that's going to be running our wards, most definitely. So, staff resignation. Lester Fenton is exhausted, underpaid, and very hungry. Right, hold up then. <laughs> you never really give me much choice or chance. Right, get a, it and take a break, son. Take a break. <clears throat> Staff promotions. Okay, so Maureen Dick looks like she's uh, leveled up once more. And Logan Trout. And research team have invented a new machine, the Shock Clinic. How awesome is that? Okay, so what have we got coming up next then? Uh, we've got the Mega Scan. We can go on that one. You know what? We're going to do it. We'll start the Mega Scan. See how fast that goes up this time. Oh, yeah. That's going up a lot faster than it current than it was last time. My goodness. Oh, awards. Research Hospital, of course. Patient's Choice. Rising Star and Employer. Nice. Staff Challenge. Prom promote three staff. Wow, we, we are starting to get quite a lot of people waiting again. This is annoying. <laughs> Where is Maureen? There she is, look. And she is ready for training. So, GP's practice two is going to be coming up for Maureen. After Lester here is learning about one. Ward management two, and that is literally not going to take that long. We're going to really up his up his wedge so we can cheer him up. That should, hopefully, cheer him up past 20%. There we go. He's completed his training. <coughs> Excuse me. He's completed his training now, so he is going to be awesome. Which is pretty much how it's going. Right, and uh, yeah, it's decided to stay after all. Lovely jubbly. Emma Dingle has apparently leveled up again as well. So let's take a look at Emma Dingle. Where are you? There's Maureen. She'll be done as soon. Logan Trout is another one that's got leveled up. So GP's level. Ah, it's my, he's thingy. What are you? Right. George Iceman. Um, where is Emma Dingle? Emma? 
There you are. She is ready for training. She's done the motivation, so it's GP's two. So, Emma Dick, uh, Emma Dick, Emma Dingle and Maureen Dick, they are the ones that are going to be going in for GP's two. Maureen Dick and Emma Dingle. We'll get them done. Okay, guys, so that is going to be it for the end of this episode. It's unfortunate that I didn't manage to complete uh, the other level but now i have access to uh, some of the uh machines that we need for that level it'll be a damn sight lot easier going into it when we're redoing that level again my goodness gracious me i've never seen gps six gps rooms so full it's crazy we are probably gonna have to work on getting some more gps over on that one there but we'll do that another time five out of seven patients cured i will take that Max Flan. Nice. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for the end of this episode. Toffman's word for today is training. I think that's apt. I think that's pretty apt for today. So, get training into a comment of your choice. The funnier, the better. And I will read it out in a future episode. Until next time, I'll be the Toffman as always. Stay safe. <laughs>